we've always been concerned and known for describing cities, thinking about cities, blah, blah, blah. But, but at some point, it becomes such a cliche. We all know now that the uh, uh, number of inhabitants of the city is exceeding 50% and will only get bigger, and that the scale of cities is getting bigger. So at some point, uh, I simply posed myself the question, OK, but what happened to the territories that are left behind? And so we now, I'm now working on the countryside. And, and this is kind of, for instance, a kind of very uh, touching kind of uh, image. This is the countryside kind of filmed in Russia uh, at the turn of the 20th century. And this is the countryside in Switzerland. But the difference is fundamental. These are three Russian ladies, and these are three Thai ladies. You know, and so the countryside now in Europe is very often inhabited by foreign workers who have to kind of maintain the farms or maintain the kids or maintain the, the animals. So it just in, in two images, it kind of really shows. This is another, I would say, important preoccupation. Uh, after uh, kind of really decades of uh, extreme architectural shapes and extreme interest in shape, uh, we try to do buildings that are kind of slightly less uh, uh, exhibitionistic, and, and we are even kind of thinking that if we, like medicines, that we abandon the patented medicine, but that we could go into generics and do neutral buildings uh, in a new way. Uh, so anyway, there's a lot of those kind of things. And, and what they really announce is the AMO part of the office, how, you know, kind of regardless of what we do as architects, how we try to also explore and anticipate uh, other domains.